Enthusiasts, yes, how are you doing? Welcome back, I hope you're well and I hope you're having a great day. Today we're back on the racing green and we're gonna be fitting a set of swivels on the front hubs. I'll try and do it pretty much in real time and then we're gonna fit the lower arm bushes, tie rods and maybe get the subframe built back up but let's see how things go. Hope you enjoyed today's video, thanks for tuning back in and I'll catch you again soon. Right, so we've got our hub ready. We've got all the bits we need to build the swivels back up. We've got various different sizes of shims. Always go worth doing this first. Go around, measure all your shims. Don't just guess, because you're getting all sorts of mess. It takes you twice as long. Measure all your shims. Um, I've actually, they never give you enough shims in the kits, but I've actually built up loads of spares over the years. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fit the bottom ball joint knuckle on or ball joint nut and then we're going to put it and use that just to hold it in the vise while we assemble the top swivel now quite important because I've painted the hub it's important to go round and make sure there's no paint um, sitting on the mating surface and there is on this because I was not that careful with the paintbrush because any of that paint on there that's a mating surface so it will just make it difficult to get it this the swivel shimmed up perfectly uh, it's also worth if I've got it just go round with a very fine file and just make sure there's no sharp edges on there. Nothing that's gonna pick up. Sometimes that can get damaged where either it's clamped in the vise or someone's whacked it a bit too hard with a hammer or a ball joint splitter. So just make sure you're starting out with a good clean mating surface. And then the first thing we want to fit is the locking ring. Um, and that's held in space, placed by a grease nipple. Had to clean up the old grease nipples because they don't give you new nipples in the kit. If I remember someday, I will order just a big pack of grease nipples because you always need them nowadays. They never put them in the kits anymore. Grease nipple on. Now the first thing I do, just this cup, that locking plate at the bottom is just make sure it's sitting flat because when you start adding shims and playing around with it, it will flatten it down. So we'll just get the nut gun and we want our big swivel socket. There we go. So that's now sitting flat. Now, this is optional. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get some valve grinding paste and I'm just going to give the swivel. I'm just gonna lap it in lightly, only using the fine end. Um, so we want the cup in there and then we're gonna put a bit of grinding paste on the bottom where the cup meets and then round the side of the swivel inside. Like I say, we're not going to go mad with this. Put that on there, fit the cup. Now you can do this by hand. It's actually quite easy to do. You can control the tension on the swivel with the nut. And you sit there and just work it all round for five minutes or so, get it lapped in. If you want to speed things up, if you've got a big enough drill chuck, switched on to it. 
get it on the drill chuck and then you want to go backwards so it doesn't keep undoing. You don't have to go mad with it. You don't have to do that at all to be honest but what I find is it makes it easier to shim them up. You generally, you can generally feel a few high spots on the cup or the knuckle. So by doing that, it just saves a bit of time and um, it will hopefully stop you having to re-shim them again in the near future. Now what we must do is must make sure everything's clean of grinding paste because obviously any grinding paste left in there, once you add grease, is gonna uh, make a nice abrasive material which is gonna wear it all down again quickly. But for me, like I say, you don't have to do this, not everyone does it. But hopefully, it just gets out of that situation where you shim it all up, you fit the swivels, and then a year later, you're having to adjust them or re-shim them again because they've got a high spot from new. As you can see, we're getting a nice grey line like, like you would do on a valve seat. So there we go, we're ready for shims. Now you've got to start somewhere. Uh, it's worth paper and pen. So I'm going to start with 75.75 uh, of a millimetre, so a 0.50 shim and a 0.25 shim. Make sure we just uh, dab a bit of grease on. And then just for speed, I'm going to use a nut gun. So we just nip that up straight away. I can't move it, so that's too tight. We need more shims in there. So this is where you need to not lose count. So 0 0.75 we got there in, the, in there at the moment. Sometimes the shims stick to the bottom there, so beware of that. We're going to put another 0.25 in, so that will take it to one mil. And now it's too loose. So we know we need somewhere between 0.75 and 1 mil. So we take the last 0.25 shim out, that will take us to 0.75. And we'll add a 0.15. So that takes us to 0 0.9. Oh. <sighs> Got to make sure you keep these shims clean. No debris on them because that will mess it up. So that's point 0.9 now. And that is too loose. So 
So what do we want? About 0.85 then. So let's just double check these as I take them out. So 0.5. Point two five point one five so point eight five uh, we can actually go I've got point eight so we can go point five point seven five and then one of them that's not point not eight so that should take it to Point eight three. Yes. So at point eight three, it is just picking up on the edges. is how I want it they've still got to be torqued down yet but you don't want it you don't want it too tight you don't want it too loose I might just try 0.8 can I get 0.8 actually 5 yes I can <laughs> Just because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So we're leaving the 0.5 and we're putting two 0.15s. That'll give me 0.8. worth just doing that a bit more so it's just a little bit tighter but just still that so you can move it by hand so that side is done we still need to torque it up we still need to lock the tabs over we still need to grease it up and put the dust cap on but before we do that we'll do the other side Now this is the bottom swivel. This bottom swivel has a spring that sits under the cup. Now I've done it the hard way lots of times before, but it's much, much easier if you don't fit that spring while you're shimming it up. Fit that spring after you've shimmed it up. Again, we just want to start, remove any grease or debris on this mating face. So bit of over paint So um, the locking tab first, held in by the grease nipple. And again, we'll just make sure that tab is all the way home. Now 
going to use now. And we're going to do the same again. So the little cup in the bottom. And then a bit of grinding paste again. The only thing I would say about using the drill is it can damage the threads up here if you're not careful. But like I say, you can just do it by hand. Or the drill just speeds things up a bit. Once more, we just need to make sure this is all nicely cleaned up now. Lovely. Right then, let's get shimming. What did we end up with last time? 0.8. So, uh, we're not going to fit the spring in. Uh, let's put a bit of grease on there. Uh, let's... Uh, Start with point eight, shall we? Just measure these up. So I don't have a fifty mil shim anymore, so we go twenty five, fifty, sixty five. Come on, 80 mil. Solid at 80. So let's take a 15 out. And put a 25 in. So that will give us 
90. And I'm being a bit OCD here, but I do like to get them in size order, thickness order. So that means the 15 below it has got to come out. So it's 25, 50, 75, 90. Ninety two loose. So we want to get to uh, we done eighty, didn't we? Want to get to eighty five. So, 25, 75 and I've got an 8 so we can go 83 didn't we do we've already done 83 I think oh no we've done 83 on the other side Cool as a cucumber, slightly tighter than the other side, but again, you can move it by hand, one hand, which is the main thing. What happens if you do it too tight, um, when you turn the steering, it doesn't rotate and it actually twists the, the steering rack, the hub will twist the nut loose. So, uh, we are shimmed to perfection there. We just need to make sure we put the spring back in. We just don't want to come out straight, that's the problem. Come on, work it backwards, there we go. There we go. So, spring back in, don't forget that bit. It just adds some preload to the lower swivel. grease on the cup So now then, we just want to talk up, so I go to 110 Newton metres. Probably a little bit, slack it off and do it again. Make sure we get it right. So it's 
So, talked up now. Now we want to lock the tabs over. Don't forget to do this. So, I like to get them nice and neat. So I'll just use the side of a chisel which has got a flat edge. You don't have to knock over all the sides. Just two or three sides will do. Uh, so that's good. Um, now, again, just personal preference. I'm gonna put a little bit of rubber grease on the outside of this dust seal, just because they have a horrible habit of of uh, failing, of cracking. And then before we put the dust seal on, let's just pump it full of grease. Again, don't go mad here. People tend to pump way too much grease in the swivel, so it's just a waste, makes a mess. If it's adjusted nicely, what you should find, it'll be quite difficult to get grease in. So, here we go. Just see it oozing out the top there. If you'd have noticed on the actual swivel itself, there is actually a in the cup of the swivel, it's machined slightly to allow grease to go up to the side of the swivel. A rubber boot on, a bit of rubber grease on there like I say, and then the nut and the spring washer. Just got to do the same on the back side or the top swivel now. Slacken it off and make sure we come back to the right torque on it. Bit of grease. Oh, made a bit of a mess with that one. Just started coming out the top there. Uh, rubber seal. Uh, 
and just remember our drive shaft seal in the back there so there we go wheel bearings and swivels in pretty much real time job done hope you enjoyed this week's video if you did remember to give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber please do consider subscribing and i'll catch you again on the next one